Hey everybody and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be going over worksheet number two. Now as a quick review, if you've done worksheet number one, you've traced the C, D, and E notes. And also you got a little bit acquainted with the piano and guitar, which actually are two of my favorite instruments. And don't forget to do the suggested listening, because that way you get to hear really great performances of great musicians and playing those instruments. And you can always find the instrument videos on colormemozart.com slash instruments. So with that said, let's get started on worksheet number two. As you can see here, our first set of exercises, we're going to be coloring the shapes with the correct color. And the first exercise is a set of four squares. And as we've learned already, the square is which note? I'll give you a second to answer. If you answered C, you're absolutely right. And we're going to color those squares what color? If you answered red, you're also right. So go ahead and color those squares red. So we have four red squares, four C notes. Excellent job. In exercise number two, we're going to be adding the triangle. And here we see triangle, square, triangle, square. And what note is the triangle? D, that's right. And the triangle is what color? Orange. Excellent job. So you can pause the video and go ahead and color those triangles and squares orange and red. Excellent job. And now we go to exercise number three. And here we have the introduction of the circle, which we've learned already. And the circle is which note? It's E. Great. And the color of the circle is yellow. Excellent. So go ahead and color those. We have those six notes. We have E, E, D, D, and C, C, or yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, red. Excellent. And so now that we've done our coloring, now we want to get to actually playing some examples. And the next section, we're going to see a couple of examples that are pretty simple, but I want to make sure that you play them not only correctly, but also if you're playing them on the keyboard to make sure you're using the right fingers on your right hand. So let's get started. We'll start with the xylophone first. So let's start with exercise number four. And we'll start one, two, three, four. I'm going to try it again nice and slow, saying the notes. One, two, three, go. C, D, E, E, D, C. And be sure to repeat that as many times as you need to, just to make sure that you're playing one note after the other nice and smooth with no big breaks in between the C, D, and E. Now let's try exercise number five. And here we have two repetitions of C, D, E, and then we go back to C, D, E. And so we'll try it. One, two, three, go. C, D, E, C, D, E. One more time. One, two, three, go. Excellent work. So we'll start with exercise four. And remember the finger numbers are there. So your thumb is one, your index is two, middle is three. So here we go. One, two, three. Ready, go. C, D, E, E, D, C. One more time, and I'll point out the finger numbers. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, three, two, one. And one last time, just playing without saying anything. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. And now, exercise number five. We just have two repetitions of C, D, and E using the same fingers, and then again, C, D, E. So let's give that a shot. One, two, ready, go. C, D, E, C, D, E. And our finger numbers, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then one last time without saying anything. One, two, ready, go. Great work today on completing worksheet number two. Tomorrow's lesson, make sure you work on worksheet number three. And for every lesson that you watch, make sure you do the worksheet just to make sure you reinforce what you're learning. And don't forget to have a great time. Enjoy your music and I'll see you guys at the next lesson.